Hi everyone, Mike Day here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to teach you the basics of how to use a self-leveling laser. Hey guys, so if you've never used a laser before, I'm going to teach you the basics on how to use a self-leveling laser to set grade. Now the first thing I like to do is get the, the legs set in place, make sure they're sturdy and firm so they're not going to move, they're not going to settle. I just push them down in there, usually it doesn't take much. Next thing I do is I set the laser on top of it. I like to make sure the legs are, are fairly level, they don't have to be perfectly level because this thing's self-leveling. So I set the laser on, I push the go button, and the laser self-levels. As soon as it self-levels itself, it starts spinning, and it spins the laser beam around. Now I have a receiver there on my grade stick that picks up that laser beam. I also have a, a yard stick on my grade stick, so it goes from zero at the top to down to 36 inches. Now I can shoot the grade of this crushed rock. You know, I can be really accurate with it since I have that yardstick on there. I'm probably right around the four inch mark, five inch mark. This is a pretty big foundation, so I'll take about 20, probably about 20 readings to try to get the level of this rock. This is a Topcon RL. 5B. This is my favorite one. I'll have a link to it in the description. So if you want to check it out, you can. This thing will save you time. It'll it'll save you a lot of money. It'll pay for itself in a matter of days or weeks, depending on how much you use it. I use it every day. So once I have the level of the sub base, the crush rock, established, I went around took an average. Now I'm establishing the grade of my concrete floor, which is going to be four inches higher than the subgrade. So if my average on that yardstick was maybe a four and a half, you know, if I had some fours, some four and a halves, and some fives on the crushed rock, you know, I, I established four and a half as an average. I'd now move my receiver down to eight and a half, which raises my grade stick up to where you see it right now. Then I'll go around the inside of that foundation and I'll put my pencil marks all the way around the inside each corner and then on some of the longer runs in the middle I don't go much further than 18 to 20 feet in between pencil marks. And once I have all my pencil marks established as you can see the inside all the way around that thing. Once I have all the pencil marks down, I'll snap my chalk lines for my concrete floor level. I can do this myself just by using a simple concrete nail. I'll lightly tap that into where my pencil mark is. Then I'll hook my chalk line on one end and pull it over to my other pencil mark. Pull it nice and tight, and then just snap the chalk line, just like that. I'll do that again all the way around the inside. That way, when we come to sh when we come to pour the concrete floor, I'll have the established grades all the way around the foundation. I like using red. Red doesn't come off if it rains. So now. What I'm doing is I'm stat now we're pouring that concrete floor. I'm establishing the grade of the concrete in the middle using the same laser. That receiver will beep to let me know if I need to go down or if I need to go up. It beeps really fast to go down and it beeps slow to go up and then when when it's right where I'm at it has a solid beep. 
So I'm, I'm making what I call a wet pad now that we're going to use to strike off from with our straight edge. And I got to get that wet pad exactly the same as the level on the outside around the foundation. That's going to take me a few times to get it perfect. I'm pretty fussy when I shoot these pads. It's going to be exact. It may have to come down one more time. Just maybe, and It may only be a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch that I'm moving it down. But I like it perfect. But once I have that established, that wet pad, then we'll grab the straight edge. There it is. I put an X there. I circle it. And that means it's perfect. Now we're striking it off with the straight edge. That gives us a wet pad to go by. We kick screed with wet pads, so this is the way we were taught. But having that laser level makes setting those pads really easy. And that's basically it. That's how to use a laser level. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I come out with these videos all the time. And if you have a comment, leave a comment. If you have a question, I'll, I'll get back to you.